All right, I'm actually really giddy about this next story we have. Of course, Halloween is just a few nights away, and my co-anchor, Brian Blakely, continues to be haunted in a good way by something in his past. Yeah, th that's right. Uh, more than 30 years ago, I, I starred in a horror movie, and my acting was pretty scary, to say the least, in this film. It was called Haunted Ween. And it's built actually a, a quite a cult following over the years. And Queen City News reporter John Lee sat down with me to screen the movie that I haven't watched in years. And let's just say it was a haunting hoot down memory lane. <laughs> Cue the evil laughter. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'll, I'll be in a movie. So we shot at this house in the farm areas of Bowling Green, Kentucky. I know what you did last summer, Brian Blakely. I just gotta spend some time with her. You know how girls are. It actually was the summer of 1989. Oh yeah, now the whole plot's coming back to me. In a world where future newsman Brian Blakely gets the acting bug. Awesome, got my name spelled right. <laughs> Get your popcorn ready for Haunted Ween. That's the director, Doug Robinson right there. May he rest in peace. Man, what is her problem? I don't know. The film was shot while Brian, the leading man, was a student at Western Kentucky University. This is at the SAE, Sigma Alpha Epsilon frat house where we shot this. And listen okay. to Brian heckle himself. Nice hair. How come she broke up with you? Oh, youth. I stink as an actor. <laughs> Looking back at that, I just laugh at it. I got cringe. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so bad. But there are some moments in there you go, oh, that's pretty cool. Rotten Tomatoes sums up Haunted Ween in a sentence. A college fraternity's haunted house fundraiser becomes a wealth of terror when a psychopath stalks the halls. In his movie debut, We need to have a meeting in my room. 10 minutes. Brian channeled an icon. Make that 20. Tom Cruise, baby. At the time, Brian worked at the Atlanta Braves front office. I see I got the Braves towel. <laughs> Brian hosted TV shows and was just starting down the path of his journalism career. He describes acting as more of a hobby and Haunted Ween was the welcome diversion he badly needed. My mom died uh, about four months before. He also lost other loved ones around that time. And so there's this moment where, man, I just want to do something to feel good. While making the movie, he got to hang out with friends and drive around in a sweet car for six weeks. That was the car I got to drive around for a while. So it was a fun time. Well, in between all the killing on camera. The film came out early. How do we do that? How do we do the <laughs> neck like that? That's gross. That's that's too much. Spoiler alert: Brian saves the day at the end. Oh, what great acting! I didn't even get hit. He's about to get his shot at taking down the bad guy. That was a fun night to shoot. We shot overnight, and. I'm sitting there with this shotgun that comes up on me and I blow the guy up. You know, all this fake Hollywood stuff. Oh! The movie concludes in a blaze of cinematic glory. The end. Oh, but he drives away. Uh-oh. Is there a sequel? He's still alive. Decades later, the low-budget movie somehow survives. I mean, they find it somehow. I mean, one of our producers, Jesse, um, yeah. came up to me and said, oh my gosh, you're in a haunted way. And I'm like, uh, how in the world do you know about that? Man. And that gives Brian a chance to ponder. You're not even worth it. That fascinating part of his past. They'll always look back and say, hey man, that was pretty cool what we did. A kitschy little horror film that still lives. <laughs> In Charlotte, John Lee, Queen City News. Oh, wonderful is, trip down memory lane. I love it. Oh, my <laughs> cool. goodness. Oh, my goodness. So cool. Great hair back then, right? Yeah. You know, you know, I mean, thing. just watching it, wow. Um, that's just, I think it's so awesome, right? It was fun that we got a chance to do that. It was really cool that John and Stuart Pittman, who was uh, shot it with us, we just had a lot of fun going down memory lane and talking about everything. But, yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's always cool. around this time, I'll get somebody... Um, some writer in the horror film industry, the genre, will reach out to me and ask me about it. And I'm yeah. like, 
Really? Okay, cool. Yeah. Well, like okay. I said, a cult following. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. let you know. Okay, so I, Brian and I sit close to each other in the newsroom, and somebody came up to his desk here, won't call it his name, but he was like, oh my goodness, you're in this movie. He was so excited. <laughs> and Brian's like, yeah. Well, he we went to okay. Western Kentucky, and that was yeah. we shot with a lot of our professors there and a lot of students at yeah, Western Kentucky okay. who were the producers of the film. And wow. so that's kind of a cool kind thing cool. about oh it. Yeah. 33 God. years ago. And Ooh. I just want to know, where can we watch that now? I know, right? Yeah. Don't know. Oh, it has to be at YouTube. <laughs> To find it. But it would yeah. be really cool, Tara, if somebody saw this on Queen City News and then decided to do a sequel. Oh, that's right. You know? The sequel. The, the guy's still possible. driving around out there somewhere 33 years later. Still driving around. <laughs> All you film directors out there. Hmm. All right.